Lake Historical Association. Uh, roll call. Richard Mullins. Here. Gary Daniels. Here. Andrea Dixon. Here. Bonnie Porter. Here. Bobby McCoy. Absent. Okay. Approval of the minutes from regularly scheduled meeting from uh, November 16th. Do I have a? I looked at it. Do have any questions about it? Make the motion to approve. Second. Got a uh, motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, we've approved the minutes. Uh, approval of the financial reports and payment of the bills for November and December 2015. <laughs> You want mine, Bonnie? I've, I've read them before. Everybody got them. I, I've read them before. I got them in the right. email. Okay. Do you have any comments or questions? I'll make a motion we approve. Second. The motion's been uh, made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Uh, okay, update on home blaze from Russell Honeycutt. Good evening. You're on. I guess we'll start with December on our <coughs> Christmas event. We had a, had an excellent turnout. Uh, Mr. Bill Hunter, who's the president of the Christmas Club, was there. Uh, Mr. Bill Hunter was there. Uh, Mr. Bill Hunter was there. 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 The day after Christmas, I actually went out and bought, purchased more Christmas lighting and things like that. Uh, I bought some for 50% off, 75% off, and 85% off. No, that's a good idea. We did about, I spent about $500 on Christmas lights and garland and things like that and purchased at retail price about $1,600 worth. So mm -hmm. we've got enough probably just about to do our event next year. And uh, next year, I think that what we need to do is have two weekends, if at all possible. And I expect twice the crowd next year. Mm -hmm. this year. I think so. Yeah. We had people that actually came in from out of town. Wade was telling me about one that actually stayed in Ramada. They come in from Nathan just for this event. And then there was another couple that actually came in out of state. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I think if we start start earlier with the advertisement, we got we got <coughs> kind of late right. getting it in. But you know, with just that short time, we I think it really yeah. went over well. Really I had I, got I had people, lots of confidence. I had people people to store that you know they weren't mm -hmm. from Lexington or whatever, but but uh, other counties had come through the store and they was talking, getting directions we, and stuff like that for me. Uh, people from all surrounding counties. Yeah, we had them from Pike County. Lloyd County, Martin County, McGoffin County, Mort, you know, we had them from all the surrounding counties. Yeah. I know because there's a lot of them that I knew that I didn't know was going to be there that actually showed up for us. Mm -hmm. So we had, a, we had a real good turnout for it, but I think next year that we can actually double that. Yeah. I want to thank all the volunteers, not everybody well, that's that what I was getting to. I, I, yeah. I was actually wanting to thank Tourism for help sponsoring it and Johnson County, Mansfield Johnson County Chamber too. For yeah, I want to thank Jeremiah from the Main Street Players. We just had a lot of people help. Well. You know, the city I, I came out and helped. I thank everybody if they did this. Mm -hmm. I thank them for it when they did it. And I, yeah. You know, I thought it was yeah. But we had a, a lot of volunteers that come out and helped us with this. That's all the way that we could have actually done it. It's the volunteers that yeah. really yeah. makes it happen. The only thing we do is just play together. The volunteers help make it happen. So they did real well. Well, you did a good job, I think. They did a real, real good job. Well, you beat you beat the, beat the ground to get people there too. You know, you yeah. were all over the place selling tickets and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was pretty good. I know That's he told me. some guy in Sable, I said, you better watch him or he'll take some tickets. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, it uh, works. That's what it takes. It, it worked out real good. Uh, like I said, next, we're planning the next year's event right now. I'm already working on that one. Another thing that I need to start working on is the gospel thing. This year we need to start going ahead and somebody booked for our gospel center. And uh, I'll get with Stephanie and 
and, it, and do something about the date on it because our gospel saying is not really doing us good and I don't know where it's because we're doing it on Memorial Day weekend or what but I think we need to change it and do a different date on it okay. I think we'd be better uh, you know if you got any input on that that'd be fine so, uh, <coughs> but I need to get started on that one trying to get somebody booked in for now this year I'd say that for it's so late that we won't be able to get the primitive quartet or anybody like that, but I'm sure there's other groups out there. We can get they'll do a pretty good crowd. Uh, one of the things that I would like to do is not for this Memorial Day, but do it as soon as possible is for like the 2017 gospel thing. <coughs> the Start booking in advance and getting groups in here. You know, that book draw for your crowd. And the friends of Cortez, they've got a real good following. They do. You're, you're talking the difference between, you know, 300 people. You get them in here, you're talking about six, 650 people. Uh, you know, or maybe more. It all depends on that. So they're, they're a lot better. And uh, the Mountain Home Place, we need to talk about our register system. Our computer system for our register be replaced. This year we had a real bad problem with it. Every time okay. we'd start doing something, he'd kick us offline. It would actually dump stuff out of our inventory. You know, I mean, it was just, it's just bad. So uh, we need to go ahead and start looking for a new register system for the mountain. How long? How long has it been up there? That uh, system. Three years. About three or four. Yeah. Well, that's not very old. Where'd you get did, did, did they repl did they get them the same time? Well, I'm I'm sort of new in here, so I don't, did, did you at the museum, at the museum yeah. the same time? So yeah. they're separate. Yeah. So How old is the one at the museum? The the POS system we just got it last year, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it's God, it's, it's, a, it's a quick fix. Very good time. I like it. So it's okay. is, is your system based on QuickBooks? No. no. It's an oh, it's just straight older cash register type system or is it computerized? It's computerized. Right. It's but they're, they're computers. I'm sorry, right? Go ahead. Their computer is just very slow as well. So yeah. mine it's mine, they need a new computer and like QuickBooks POS system. Well, we need to contact our, uh, that's not the director of it. <laughs> if somebody needs to contact, you may be able to piggyback the, the QuickBooks with, if we've got a computer for them and not have to buy it again. If I'm not mistaken, you have so many downloads when you buy QuickBooks. I know I did when I bought it from my store. I, I had that. two, so I, I have a redundant inventory system. Uh -huh. So I use one computer where they, have, they actually talk to each other. I know the computers we've got, you can actually start scanning with it and they'll just freeze up. Right. And then you can put taxable items in and it will kick the tax off from it. But that's one yeah. of the major problem we've had this past yeah, year. Yeah, the quick, like she was talking about QuickBooks. I believe that that's what that's the way we need to go with their at home place, too. Is the yeah. it's what, QuickBooks, it's what they, you, uh, POS works system. great. How, how much do they use the cost for that? POS system. Who's what the. Uh, they, Then you have to get the new cash register and the new computer. Well, a lot of times your your cash register is set yeah. it will run separate. It's just it's oh. just a it, it, the computer tells it to open. Oh, you know, okay. pretty much. Yeah, that's basically that, what's going to happen. Everything else works good. It's just the computer itself is not right. Good. It's just right. no good. Yeah, but you know, with your you know, the, there's things that can be worked out. But you know, with with setting up a new POS system. You know, the, they may, when you buy it, they may, if you negotiate with them, you get other, <laughs> you can get other things with it to help out. Okay, right. now one more thing we need to discuss. Our big horse, T, is, I've had the bed out checking him out several times. Uh, he's going blind. Uh, in fact, is he is blind. Ted uh, is? Uh, Ted? Yeah. Aww. And, uh, and we're doing everything we can to bet cause it's moonlight. And he said he actually shouldn't have 
got it because he'd been vaccinated. And it, but he ended up with it anyway. So we're giving him medication shots and things like that, trying to get him back to where he can't see. Uh, it's like a daily medication, daily shot. You know, the medication was going for about another week. Shots went in Thursday. Hopefully we can get him back, but we need to concentrate on finding another horse and a carriage. Mm -hmm. And another carriage. Yeah, because I want to do that this year, wrestle downtown. Yeah, the carriage is it's getting to be a big thing. Yeah. We need to, you know, start looking for another carriage. Yeah. And along with that, just we'll start looking for another horse too. Because you know, it, even if we get Ted back, we've got the carriage for him out there, then we have another horse to carry. Yeah. Uh, that's just like with our Christmas event and stuff like that. We had to have, uh, it was just unreal. To, I mean, the trip was made around that place. So. I think that's one of the reasons why our Christmas event works out so well. That horse you carry. <laughs> Everybody liked it all. I mean, yeah. everything. They made it during the Christmas parade. Yeah, that's great. Celebration. We had them lined up a hundred deep. Yeah, and everything went good downtown, too. Yeah, I did. I had yeah. to walk in front of the horse. <laughs> To get him through that, and it was a long walk for me. But <laughs> good for you. Keep yeah, you he check. didn't like the white lines, is what it was. Every time he, you know, go through the cross section where the white lines at, uh, uh, he didn't want to cross them. Huh. Uh, I don't know what he thought it was. It was just scary to him. Yeah. So I had to actually get a hold of him, lead him on through the so uh -huh. no cross. But that's where we're at. So. Okay. Have you set a date for the Easter egg? Uh, March the 26th. March the 26th. Well, is that all the business for the historical association? Do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? <laughs> all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, <coughs> historical association adjourned. From now on. Tourism Commission, uh, January 19, 2016. Uh, roll call. Richard Mullins. Here. Jerry Daniel. Here. Andrea Dixon. Here. Bonnie Porter. Here. Bobby McCoy. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Put that A beside his name. <laughs> or no, it'll be, if he gets here, it'll be T, Tardy. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this is having approval of the minutes of the regular scheduled meeting from uh, November 16th. Or Make that motion to approve. Second. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes carry. Approval of the meeting <coughs> minutes from the 16th. Okay, approval minutes for a specially called meeting on December 10th. Short one yeah, there. make that motion. <laughs> second. Motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Accepting Aye. the minutes? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Approved uh, December 10th. Okay, uh, special call meeting December 16th. Lord, we've had a lot of special call meetings. Yeah. What was that one? Staff has. Yeah. I make a motion we approve. Second. We got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it, except the uh, minutes from the special call meeting on December 16th. 
And now approval of the financial reports and payment of bills for November and December 2015. Does anybody have any questions about that? We're finished with our Moms Every Day commitment. Okay. Until the last one, December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Motion and a second. Uh, all, all in favor of approving the financial reports and payment of bills from November December 2015? Say aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, we approve the uh, financial reports and payment of bills from November December 2015. Okay, is Stephanie not here? She was on a little bit like she will be here. Okay. Let's go. She wanted to be moved up. So she could get back. It's either Bobby or uh, Stephanie. Yeah. Who could it be? <laughs> you never know. It might have some soft shoes on. There she nice, is. Stephanie. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> you were we just getting ready to call you up. You need a second to get to drink water in there? to work on the logo and the based upon what our recommendations are were and this is what he has uh, sent back and I guess really need to make a decision Is that Latin or French? <laughs> uh, I can't say. I don't know. Read it to me. I don't even know what it says. <laughs> I'm not about my glasses. No, that is Latin. I'll no, look at it a little more. Or something sitting out there. No, that's it. That's idea. But it gives you Mr. an example of what, um, I mean, I think we all, we all went along with the, uh, Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky City of Note, and um, yeah, they, the color. Yeah. So this, so this was the one option because they turned it, yeah. and this was the second option. Um, I I personally like this one. It's simple and um, it's effective without being too much. Because I think when you when you start trying to advertise, be it on a billboard or something like that, this might be a little bit more difficult to. It I don't think it'll be as effective as this right. one is. Well, I like the coloring a lot, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, if you think about it, the chamber's coloring is also that, and it goes to the blues and the greens of the water and the mountains, as Phil said. And, um, yeah, that looks a little big. Yeah. It'd be hard to... Right. That's... Yeah. Yes. But, you know, I mean, oh, I like that, yeah. I, I, think, I think this looks nice. Yeah. And we can make, um, you know, a thank you note. 
easily from that as well. Yeah, but speaking of which, we need to, you know, when we can breathe, if you have, you know, when we can get, take time to breathe, we'll get that number. <laughs> so um, we just need to move forward on that. And then um, Bill says, you know, from this, we probably need to work on having um, uh, it trademarked. So, you know, registered so mm -hmm. that it's ours and we can proceed and not worry that someone's going to take the cute little privacy video. <laughs> pretty catchy. Yeah. <laughs> Take note. We're here. So we got to, uh, I guess, make a motion to go ahead with uh, this one. With, uh, with the, the copywriting. Yeah. That. that uh, uh, I think the motion that we get Phil. Does Phil do that? Brand. No, that would be our council, the Tourism's Council. Okay, so I make the motion that we get Jonathan to trademark the Paintsville logo. Is that all you mean? I need a second. Second. All in favor of uh, doing what she said? <laughs> <laughs> Is it being the best? Which one we picked? I mean, does that need? Does that help? This should be fine. Okay. 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 Now you have to. I'll have it. He said not for us to let this out. Man, they see it. Turn it over. Yeah. But that's not the one, you know. No, that's not the one. That's not it. So it's the second one. Yeah. And um, I will notify Phil so he can send for send us all that. Um, the second thing is is that we uh, are up uh, with the billboard in Sayersville in March and Brad contacted uh, me about whether or not we want to continue with that board or not. And is that the one with Chris Stapleton on it? It is the one with Chris Stapleton on it, yes. We have, you know, we have been working with <laughs> Lamar and have signed, you know, a contract with them, and you know, we, we are in, going to have boards in Dayton. Uh, we have a rotating boards in Richmond, Kentucky. Um, we're doing one on the way to uh, we're the um, on the way to Tennessee, Munford, I think it's called. We were thinking that might be a catchy place for just a few months, especially through the SEC tournament and travels down through yeah. there. So Aware because it's not a long term board, but they can put us there uh, for a short period of time. And then in uh, Virginia, uh, Edmonton. <laughs> so, that's that's, yeah, that's a great place, especially for the Dawkins. Yes. And so, um, you know, the question is, is do you want to keep that site and spend money there locally? Do you want to put, you know, do you want to let well, that Well, like I was saying, we got till March to really decide that. But I'm do we have until March to well, make that decision? Well, he's calling and asking, so where we are on it. I mean, he actually called me last week, and I said, you know, we had not had a meeting yet, so. Yeah. Tell him to let us think about it and, and see. I mean, I'd rather it's not, not even thinking I would like to have, yeah, yeah, I'd like to have, you know, from March on, I'd like to have something there, because that's a place where people come through. Mm -hmm. I well, think that's a, probably, with, the they're board, probably, it's the best board. change the, yeah. you know, Finals on it. This this final to put the Chris Stapleton was six hundred dollars, right. and um, that's as low as they're going to go. And we were very fortunate because Wade actually had um, a gentleman to do the graphics for it, and it turned out very right. nice. So and that was donated. Um, so you know, if that's something that you all want to consider as you know, whatever you're wanting to market. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more wanting to keep, to me personally, keep as many 
irons in the fires again for, for advertising. We've got that board. I think we ought to continue to use it. You know, we're, it's a pretty we good board. I think that's the best good board. Location. Local. Right. Local. Local. Mm -hmm. Because they're coming off that parkway and they, you know. There it is. Although my granddaughter's not the model anymore for daffodil, so we're they can actually say I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we obviously still have the yeah. one that's the Dawkins um, Harris Camp. Right. That is still right. up. That's a good so, place to do. Um, and uh, Leah, who is with Lamar, is working um, on some different ideas with the board's graphics in different locations uh, other than what we've already okay mm -hmm. for um, Richmond and that's been sent and it's been posted. But I asked her to do a little, you know, some different things so we could have some different options there. Right. Well, I didn't. Well, I, I, like I, I wasn't board. talking about changing, changing <laughs> the, the him out to after or do anything other than. He's up there until we're. He's <laughs> up there as long as we have the board. <laughs> and we might get another board. on the board, which is March, and then you know. Right. I might just leave it up there. Well, I think anyway. we probably should because we're getting ready to do the the uh, museum and the uh, maybe we'll get the brown sign. That's the Did word. You, uh, uh, all right. Don't get. I don't even get me started. Thank you. Don't get started. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the the next thing I kind of want to run across. To you all is is that you know we signed the contract with um, WKYT for a digital marketing of the Dawkins Trail, so that if um, Google, if anyone goes to search, be it if you're searching bike trails, we you know Dawkins Trail is going to pop up, and it's a three month um, contract with them. And we need to ready our website to where. It is optimizing what the site is. So, so for example, you can't go and look at our website on a mobile and look at the different um, pages, and it have it doesn't um, turn to say it's not an iPhone or if it's on an iPad. It's not maximizing what we have, so it's not ready to receive whatever we're logging in on. And I know Lynette and I have. I've called her and said, I'm trying to log on, but it's not coming mm -hmm. up. And she's like, well, it's not coming up for me. And then she'll call, call Ray, and Ray's like, well, it's coming up for me. So, you know, it's just your site. Well, technically, that's not going to work because everyone's, you know, trying to get onto the site from different, <coughs> different yeah, places. Yes. And so um, it needs to be a more responsive site that um, the background is encoded with their page. So we're getting ready to spend this, we're spending this money for the digital media, but their site is not exactly where it needs to be. And so I think that we really need to address making the site, you know, ready mm -hmm. okay. to roll this out. So we need to redo our website. For sure. We do. We, have, right. to, we right. have to optimize the site. Right. We do. And so... Well, do we don't and, have much yet, and, or do you? Or do you? Well, you know, it did, I, really just to, to use what we have and to encode the background and make it better. We're looking at five to eight thousand dollars, and then growing from that with individual pages for our different assets. But that would be long term. But for for right now, we're we're looking at five to eight thousand dollars to have it responsive ready so that. We're talking well, a lot of times you got, it won't even come up. Oh, I know. I mean, because we were trying to do about the Stafford House, and you go on there, you can't get it to come up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it don't come up, it don't do any good. Yeah. Right. No, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not effective right. marketing right. Right. if you right. can't, right. and it should not matter. I mean, if, if we're where we need to be, it's not going to matter what, uh, be it your laptop, your mobile device, you know, wherever you are, you can log on to this site and get what information you So it's, I mean, it's just something that I think the commission needs to talk about and hopefully you know, decide that you need to change some things on it. Well, we can do that. Well, um, 
I've spoken to a lady named Kim Ferguson who has, uh, done, she has a business all over the country, and she and I have discussed some um, the opportunity for her to come propose something mm-hmm. to us. Obviously, she wants to know exactly what we mm-hmm. want. Um, and then WKYT, with whom we bought the digital package from, you know, has has said that they would love the opportunity to pitch something as well. So, well, let's you know. let's take let's let anybody wants uh, to pitch. Why don't you get in contact with them, and maybe yeah. they could come to the next meeting. Okay. Well, what is, is that? A, what is, thanks, mm-hmm. Jen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they we need to get it rolling. They talk the yeah. language, and and you know, but maybe we need to. I would say that we need to put together what we want so that they kind of have in mind what we want and so the pricing is accurate and they're able to show us exactly what the change would be. Now which computer guru is going to do that? The bronze star. I wouldn't know. The, hip, the hippie's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm always Looks like, like it's up to the restaurateur and the the red yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> the red hand. Wow, Andrea, tag, hurry. That's like enough. Uh, all right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think, uh, well, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to vote on that, do we? Just, no. we need, we just, whoever wants to make a proposal to, to up to our website and uh, have it. And if you could make some notes. Jive there. with each other, you know. Okay. Okay. To have us ready. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then I guess I guess that's similar to having electronics done anyplace else. We gotta take bids on them, mm-hmm. so we'll see which one will work out better. Right. What what they can do for us and what the right. bottom dollar is. Um, I uh, placed the ad with uh, aroundpainsville.com for the new tourism director. We uh, I contacted career Lexington, Kentucky.com and it's actually careerbuilders.com and um, I change the name all the time. Yeah. Yes, so I got the pricing on that and um, we have not placed the ad there because it it is I know based upon the various feedback we didn't want to spend a lot of money, yeah. but it's going to cost some money to advertise. So um, it's. You're looking at really from $400 to $500 to run 30 days, run the ad for 30 days on careerbuilders.com. Um, Lynette has posted it on Facebook already, and we talked about putting it on LinkedIn. That is a cost of money as well, as does monster.com. So, um, kind of need some guidance on what your budget is for what you want to spend. <laughs> that's uh, you know I, the reason I, I told you those is because I thought personally they used to be free and I guess they're now well, and, I, and I, there's, there's, not nothing, much free there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing aggravates me more than something that used to be free that now everybody's ch- charging $500 for yeah so so basically um, I'm gonna do what everybody else did that I used so to advertise it. <laughs> is that correct it is on around Paintsville.com. We put it for a trial um, website. It was four days, and we had one person from Canada to, to put their resume in. Cool. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but um, it was going to be close to $200. Yeah. So, I mean, we can, and that, that encompasses quite a few sites, but it's uh-huh. not Monster or LinkedIn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, they have somebody <laughs> LinkedIn else's money. is like two hundred dollars, and so uh, we'll get it out there as long as you give me a budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it on LinkedIn. What, what do you mean? think? Two hundred dollars. What do you think, Jerry? I put on a piece of paper, stick it on my door, take an application. So. <laughs> that's that's that works for me. That's what that awesome. works for me too. But. The most effective uh, advertising I've done since I opened a store three years ago, which is not like I'm booming or anything, was fa- is Facebook. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. And how, There's many, nobody. how many resumes do you have so far? Two? Two. Okay. Two in a week. Okay. So oh. when are we stop advertising and right. when are we going to interview? We've not been directed on that, so. 
Mm-hmm. We're gonna sit down. At, like we're gonna take them until this date, and then mm-hmm. then interview. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know how long we going. If we're gonna pay two hundred dollars, how long will that be? I mean, you don't want to put in there a week and then bam, let's start interviewing. Yeah. Well, we didn't log on to LinkedIn yet because we tried the free trial, and like I said, Career Builders is thirty days. So five at five hundred dollars, you get in the Friday, Saturday, Sunday papers and digital for thirty days. Uh, for four oh five, it's um, Sunday paper and digital, and for four fifteen, some odd change, it's um, digital and Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. I think it was so. When Lynette pulled out the information before, uh, I guess when uh, Tia, prior to Tia being hired, it was about right at a thousand dollars that was spent. Uh, what What do we? How do? We, is there? You know. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. A. Uh, who's our attorney? <laughs> I need to. I, I, I really think there's. Is there anything that says that we have to advertise a certain length of period of time being a. Jonathan recommended the two weeks. So you've got it in there one week. So that means one more week. Okay. So if you can do something for a week and then close. I mean. I, I mean, I don't think that. From what I see, you can't just do a week with LinkedIn or Career Builders. Okay. No. Well, can you just take out a, a, the last time they didn't do that, they just did it like in the Ashland Daily and, they just didn't right. and local papers. Yeah, and local, local papers. papers. Just do that. Get it in there by next week so we can start. There he is. Come Welcome in. aboard. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. That's all right. I got to fix. Uh, I, I say yes. Uh, let's see. They take a week or two. How long do they usually advertise in newspapers? I can't remember. I, I, last time I did, it was a month. Um, Other than special editions. It, from from what I see, it's thirty days. You're thirty yeah, days advertised. Anyone. Yeah. We need one quick, but you know we need to advertise it too. I just think you need somebody from local area to sell. You know, if you so, not advertise? I'm not fine. I just, I, I, I just, just well, you can advertise, but then people. That local person will still come, you know. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I, I mean, if you want me to weigh in, I, I can say with Prestonsburg, you know, they had 20 some applicants and they did quite a bit of advertising. And right. they, came, they came from all over. And I know that they ended up hiring someone from Berea. So, you know, um, I. I if it were me, I think LinkedIn is effective from what I see. I know I worked with surgeries on Sunday and they they had hundreds of applicants that come uh-huh. through LinkedIn. The career builders, you know, lots of people log on there. All right. So, you know, you're still spending when I think when we, we calculated it, you were at four or five hundred dollars with all the local papers. Right. So my my opinion on it is, is why not open it up to more individuals, you know, getting it out there to the same similar dollar amount <laughs> and see what you get. Yeah. Well, actually, the, 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 the career builder is also in the paper, the Blakes and Arrow, they look like too. Somewhere to get it out there. Okay. You got to be <coughs> You're local. Don't want to advertise anything. No, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I just think if you get somebody from Lexington or someplace else, they're going to move up here and they want to stay a few months and get tired of the place and move back out and you're stuck again. Mm-hmm. I think we should do it off a lot as much as we can, whether it be businesses or whatever. That's just my opinion. One 
trying to. I'm trying to, too. I wish I'd never come up. <laughs> well, what local do you want to advertise in? In the past, they did Big Sandy, uh, Paintsville Herald, Boyd County Times, Ashland Dale, um, and Pikeville, the athletic. They made a Kaleido screen in Pikeville. So, if we're going to do any any of the Lake of Dead or the Career Builder, I think we ought to do Career Builder because that's more local, not not as in here local, but as in statewide local. Lincoln did, like you said get people from Canada and you know that's that shouldn't even, we, we, we shouldn't even be reading that paper I think we're gonna get on that one we know it is cheaper we're gonna get people from Maine and whatever that's tired of their job at 7-eleven <laughs> <You know? laughs> and it's gonna waste our time what you all told me what yeah. we ran was um, I don't know what you were talking about what was Uh, Painesville Tourism is looking for a self-motivated, organized individual with strong communication skills, must have experience managing day-to-day -day operations and staff, marketing experience and a bachelor's degree is required, must be willing to re relocate to our area. I say with the local, we. I think we ought to advertise around Paintsville to me. That's, and that's, that's already yeah. done. Yes, sir. And uh, and let's do uh, let's do one outside. Let's do the because you you get off the Lexington Herald and. And the online career builder oh, side. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one. Okay. What's so going to be our deadline? It's a 30 day when you there run it on there. So it's 30 days from the day that um, we post it. And she has the information. Uh, Andrea is her name, and she has the information. She just uh, said we would need to decide on the package, and she would build it and put it out. So okay. it's a matter of. What you want to spend? Four oh five to five twenty one is the most expensive. It's in print for three days. It's ten lines. We're obviously safe with that, and it's thirty days online. Well, that's the one we need to go with. Okay. So we'll wait. I mean, thirty days before we start really doing interviews. Yeah. Okay. We'll be on Career Builder for thirty days, and. And so, are you wanting me to also do all the local papers? I've, I'm not having a clear no. understanding of that. No. no. Okay. Cut her losses. <laughs> so, we need, do we need a vote on that? No, just just advertising. Advertising. Okay. All right. Oh, and then the final thing is, is we've been doing the constant contact. That w the email we did the trial, like the chamber, to where Lynette is able to generate all those emails with all the flyers on it, and our uh, you all okay for us to do the trial in it? Uh, so, and I think Lynette needs to speak because she's the one who obviously generates the takes the flyers and puts all that together of what she sees and doesn't see the effect, where the effectiveness is in it or lack of effect. Well, I've sent a couple of emails to constant contact. And basically, you know, you can just send email blasts. You can create flyers, invitations, whatever it may be, any sort of layout that you want. Um, the option for creating something is basically limitless. You can design something ever how you want to. And I sent one back in December, advertising all the different
received some statistics on the ones that I have sent. Um, basically, I sent it to about 50 people, those two, and the open rate is about 60% for both of those. Um, we received three clicks, and those all, well, all, all three of those were on Facebook mm -hmm. from the constant contact. And um, it's based on the price, is based on how many contacts that you send the emails out to. Um, the first tier is zero to 500, and that is, it's $15 a month, and you don't have to sign like a year's contract, it's on a month by month basis. So do you all want us to continue with that, or what are your thoughts? Um, I, I don't know. You try, you know, I mean, it's just see if there's positive continue. feedback. I mean, if we're getting people, you know, do things, you know. It's like you said, it's not a, there's not a contract. And right. Yeah. No. There's, there's, there's no commitment. Month by month. Right. right. Well, let's do it another month and report next month and see how it did this month. Okay. <coughs> and then the final thing is, is that, can't, do you, would you prefer for the new tourism director to be hired to proceed with uh, picking votes <coughs> with the city of Prestonsburg for the paddling? Or do you want to go ahead and since there's a new tourism director down there, you need to reach out <coughs> to him and we probably need to get those dates set. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need to. That'll be here before we know. We it. need to. Yeah. Okay. Until we get a new one. Okay. I'll nominate her to be a. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the liaison, I guess, is the term. The boat show is really the final thing. Who's going and all of that, so that we can work on. What's the date? January 11th through the 14th. I that. You can work Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, y'all, just from working at the state fair, uh -huh. you need two or three people. Oh, you need I at least mean, two people. Yeah. You cannot. I mean, it, you get exhausted. You know, That's it's a why long I hour. requested that Prestonsburg send their group as well, so that we're, we're all there working together. Mm -hmm. Right. But I think that's a right. good idea. Right. I think I said right that now? last time. I remember us yes. talking about this okay. before. Yes. yes, we did. Yeah. <clears throat> so who's going? I told I'll go Thursday, but we, I, you know, obviously you we won't have we won't have a director by then, right? No. So, um, I'll ask some of my Main Street people if they'll volunteer and go down, you know, because... Yes, Barbie wants to go. Barbie hey, Barbie's go. knee deep. Well, I'm she might need a little vacation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and a maybe Laura... Location. Laura was great, and maybe she could, you know, maybe, you know, she might mm -hmm. come that weekend. I don't know. But, um, you're going to have to okay. have two or three people. I mean, we, there were four of us. And I mean, you get well. Lynette can tell you. I mean, it, well, no know, matter you what know, you I'm, do, I'm you completely get, tied down. I can't go. Right. I can tell you that right now. I mean, so <laughs> Jerry, you get to go to the boat show. Yeah, go. <laughs> um, so I'll ask some of them. Okay. Who, do you want to go? I can't. Oh, I know you can. <laughs> I'd love to. I know, but we're gonna have to have some help. So okay. When do you have to have a names turned in? Yesterday. Make up, make up some names. <laughs> just, just put Bonnie and dot dot dot. <laughs> Whatever dot shows what up. Yeah. Drop stick That's person. <laughs> but, I mean, I can help you Friday. I guess I'll just go and stay at home. Uh, do we need anything? Any votes on this? Or I, no. I thought we did that last month. Okay. No. Yeah. All right. Is that is that all? Is that it? Not even one more thing. That's it. Okay. Who's carrying the, the torch for uh, Barbie and the sip thing? She sent her email, honey. Yeah. yeah. I read it. She, she, oh, yeah. she sent a couple emails. And I brought the check. I just read one. Of them. We already we're already there. And she has a way to mm -hmm. report on the renovation. Oh, the new windows coming in that week. Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah. They look so good. Uh, besides the little square on the top, 
So what are we looking at? What are we looking at about 30 days? Yeah, and well, I'm here tonight for, to let you all discuss another item on the tip. Um, on another project we're working on, the Chris Stapleton display, uh, the materials that were used up there and the colors of that wood through that company, we got the blueprints. The Lynette found the original blueprints for all that stuff, and they've all been discontinued from the manufacturer. Excellent. Is there anything? All righty. On to new business. Okay. The first. What? Were you going to talk about the wall? Was it? Oh, yeah. I didn't know where I was at on the agenda. Yeah. It's now. Yeah. Sorry. So, uh, <coughs> previously, a month or two ago, they talked about putting the wall back flush the way it used to be with the exposed peekaboo and while we were in the middle of having it all gutted you know now's the time to do it if you all decide to do that um, if we build that marquee without it then you decide to do it you know years from now it's going to be a totally different animal uh -huh. if we do it now it's no big deal and they can start framing on it right away and, and be done with it uh, one of the advantages is Right now, there's no insulated glass on the front of that. It's just plain, you know, just a regular yeah. single pane glass. So that's why that lobby stays so cold in the wintertime and so hot in the summer. So the new wall would have all insulated glass, fire rated insulated, uh, commercial doors, uh, all that stuff. So I don't know how much that would help, but it would definitely help some with the front. And plus, you gain quite a bit of lobby space with the wall being back out where it's originally. Right. There's some tile left over. Uh, We've got it. Well, we found it in the basement, baby. Yeah, from when we tiled that floor from up to that grant. Uh -huh. So we can, you know, tile it back out. And then it would basically look like it did back in the 40s and 50s with the person sitting in the booth. And then you have to walk in the front door <coughs> to go inside. And then you can exit the other side of the booth back out. So this I'm is. I'm seeing pictures of that. I thought that was gorgeous. I thought that's what we were looking to do anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, the all the whole entire front then would be uh, stained wood, glass, and then uh, this quote includes uh, the stack stone at the bottom of the ticket booth and all the way down the front on both sides. So if you decide to, this is the change order amount to do all that. If not, then we'll just proceed with what we agreed to before. And, and we okay. And you have this total to the other total. Um, without my in kind donations, it still wouldn't be the total that it would have been. Oh, yeah. And not only that, the company in Indianapolis that I contacted about redoing that facade originally, both of these added together would still be $70,000 cheaper than that one. Oh, yeah. And they, they didn't include that, that amount. But the only reason. To. How, many, how long do you need for this? Do we need to? Uh, do we got to our next meeting, or um, what do we need to do before that? I mean, yeah, I can wait as long as y'all want to wait. 
Well, <laughs> if you decide tonight, they'll start framing on it probably, you know, next week uh, because of the weather this week. Uh, if you wait for the next meeting, it just takes that long to you know, start the process. <coughs> Right. So, you know, it's something that you got to consider and you want to hold off to make meeting, and we should just hold off. And well, we got we got so much on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, um, I want I want to read, you know, because I, I didn't know so. But this was going to come up. We, we need to get these special call meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate them too. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a director. <laughs> I've been enough for a month. You know, <laughs> no difference whatsoever. Everything will probably be in by the next meeting, so if you decide not to do it, we can go right to work and get everything right. else done. If you decide okay. to do it, we right. can go ahead and start framing it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm more, you know, I'm, I want to do this, but hey, I got all this yeah. <laughs> right now. Hey, we'll to the next meeting. Yeah. Or we okay. may, to, we may. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Okay. And then you let it know. Like I said, we're waiting on stuff to come in anyway. So yeah. We can frame it out next week, but we can still have to wait on stuff, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's going to be, we might push back two weeks, which is, you know, we can make that up. Track a little I have to wake wake you up on the way through so you can start turn the lights on and start everything in. Uh, you went plenty of times on Sunday morning. So <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Alrighty. All right, I guess we uh, come to new business. I guess that was the first new business. Uh, request from the uh, Christmas on the Country Music Highway Half Marathon. Okay, well, I've got uh, Rotary and Facebook Okay. Uh, I've submitted a <coughs> We already proved that, didn't we? Yeah, I thought we yeah, already proved that. Yeah, you all, uh, I do things weird. Uh, <coughs> you guys, I think, have approved the sponsorship, and but I never disperse some money to me, but I don't want your money until after I'm spent it. And, so that's kind of like me returning your spending, spending proof that where your money went. So I now I ask that and then request. I make that motion. <laughs> Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Eyes have it. Need a pen? No. Sign check. <laughs> we might have to do that next week. All right. <laughs> You're going to have to wait another week. I'm not listening. All right. Uh, funding requests from the uh, Country Music Holiday Basketball Tournament. Well, this was on the agenda for December. So right. we didn't get to discuss it. That was the tournament that was held in December. Yeah. At Johnson Central. I believe. Uh, uh, I thought we were Maybe in that. December. I think, yeah. We, I think it was approved. Oh. I think I remember. Because that meeting was canceled because oh, because we didn't have sick, we're sick, to. sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, what do you need a motion? Well, uh, See, I thought we had proved that. Now. Um, of course, I'm blonde, so there. So we didn't. I remember discussing it. Yeah. But you've got the record, so. We already approved them. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, uh, then we need a motion to, to pay them. I make that motion. Second. It's been the uh, motion been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Uh, all opposed? The ayes have it. Okay. Uh, funding requests uh, Mayo Church roof repair. It's also another uh, funding request. Yeah. I don't know about that, but well, 
have like a what yeah, it, I think you know, I, it's like drawers I, I think that it would be right just, against. But I'm not as good on the tools. Just work on the way it needs to work. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hate to, not to. Yeah, and yeah. I just don't. Yeah. But on the on the back, I think the final page. Almost a million. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It's a mm -hmm. over a million to really yeah. fix it. Yeah. We're, it's just church. a band aid right here. I don't know, but I don't know. Can we table this? Yeah, we're right we table this one. We need. Yeah, we need this sent to. Uh, well, did you send that to Jonathan? Yeah. I may not have sent that to Jonathan. Yeah. We need. We, we, need, yeah. we got a vote to table. <laughs> no. Okay. I, I I think we ought to table this. Send it to Jonathan and. See what he thinks. Funding request from the uh, arm drop drag. You have the phone. Some of you do. I'm Pressburg Motorsports. And, uh, Where's Brenda and Amanda? Well, I don't know where Amanda is. I think she's on there. She is. She's in the country, I think. Yeah, she is. <laughs> but anyway, we're trying to get this Pressburg Motorsports and drag racing back uh, to where it once was. And uh, I oh, think it's just been the summer, a news conference. We've got Pikeville, uh, Moorhead, Paintsville, and Prestonburg all come together to do a uh, uh, championship race this year. And here's some stickers. And uh, I'm just here to try to get, you know, paint behind us and help us financially and, you know, with people. That's what we need. Because, uh, Stop paying anybody to mm -hmm. come down and work. It's all volunteer yeah. down. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think before they just pay them people, so we don't pay anybody. It's all volunteer, and they kind of left. Mm -hmm. and, and we get the finals this year, right? Well, what it is, it's a three-year three. deal. Right. Uh, be two races at Pipe will be counted mm -hmm. on the championship. Right. Our two races that we have. Right. Two at Moorhead, which is I sixty four Motor Complex. And then the final seventh race will be in uh, Combs Airport this year. And in 17, it'll be in Pipeville, the final race. And then the, in 18, it'll be in Morehead. So it's a three year championship deal. We're giving away $25,000 at the end of each year for the points chase. Uh, we're getting a lot of hits from out of town, I mean, from a lot of states. So I'm expecting. You know, get 200, 250 cars back at the arm drops like it once was, you know, years back. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'm funding for help and advertise, and, and we got the insurance we have to pay. We pay that out of our uh, race funds, uh, you know, we pay for our parties. It's just a whole lot. It's a big of undertaking, and both cities have to work diligently right. to get yeah. it ready. And, and the one good thing about this is that. Finally, we're realizing that Eastern Kentucky, if we stick together and help each other, we pack a bigger punch. Uh, I, I believe yeah. it will, and I think it'll it'll really grow. Uh, I've got some uh, I've got some uh, schedules here that's just uh, <coughs> that we run out, uh, and then we made some uh, we made some calendars that uh, has actually got the race dates. On, uh, we got some of each racetrack, you know, and, and it just takes a lot of money to put it on, and you know, it's got pictures of our cars on the, on the race dates when they are. But so we're just trying to get it revived uh, to where it once was uh, a few years back. Not for sure. So you're asking for an amount, but you don't know how you're asking for help and support, but you don't know how much. I think it's ten thousand dollars. I think that's what they used to pledge to the arm drop, from my understanding. Is that for a year? Or? And is yeah. Prestonburg Tourism going to help too? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and then Prestonburg City's uh, furnishing all the law officials, yeah. uh, the fire department, the rescue Central squad. Central. We've got. Our evac that actually brings a helicopter down now every race and uh, 
stage. So, so it's coming back. It's just taking a lot of work, and a lot of time. Anything worth having comes from work. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it, it can grow back into a good, good sport for the, you know, the two towns. It's been packed, what I've seen of it. How much, yes. how much did well, when we do Kiwanis, we did that popcorn up there that one time in Lawson. Mm -hmm. we, we couldn't yes. Well, you know, we need to get people in paint school. I think last year we tried and tried to get vendors and, and people. And, and I think there was, such a, there was some mix-up and stuff, uh, well, you know. Well, plus and you had the little, you know, the water, you know, kind of got everything started late, which was yep. more important than racing. Yeah. So, so I think everybody's got a way to start. And right. It just trickles. And does a, does like the Ramada have these dates and everything so they can maybe do a, a special a special on rooms or something? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you all about. I think uh, Pressburg Tourism is going to make some, I, I don't completely understand what, but some little things to give out that they give to like the motels and the places they eat so they can monitor how many people you know, like some 5% off or whatever food. Do, coupons, for, you mean like from restaurants and different places? Right. No, that way we well, maybe we could right. partner, Stephanie, well, you and I could go up. Well, why could we not just do like a ticket, like the card, and it's kind of cheaper, you know, well, for all, all of the different, so. Well, we um, need to fix it where we can keep up with right, it. Right, right. Uh, of course, I don't know if you've got a copy of what I sent you, but we're kind yeah. of keeping the books a little different each individual race, the attendance, people, how many cars, and, and uh, right down to what we're doing. So we can study it and see where we're at on it. Yeah. 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 I think I'll, I think I'll uh, play the win the win. When's the, the, the first race? I can't you say my phone. You said you had to count anyway. April 16th. Our first <coughs> test in tune is April 16th. The first championship race is April the 30th, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and I've got titles on there and uh, more hits too on there. So there's 15, well, 14 and then the final. Well, uh, there's some test in tune, which is people like to come and practice, I guess, or whatever. But there's actually seven championship races. Okay. How many races are going to be up here at the Combs Airport? Well, there'll be uh, seven total, but there'll just be two races okay. and one championship. Gotcha, okay. The other Three four times. is like a test Ten. and tune. Okay. What we do there, we put up $1,000 for a last man standing. Gotcha. And uh, the last one we did down here, we had, I don't know, like 89 cars. And we just let them run. And the last one that's standing there got the money. <laughs> so, and are you promoting it? Is he or is the commission promoting it, or how, how, what? Well, we're all in it together. Pipe is a really big <coughs> to come down and, and help promote it. Uh, Moorhead City's promoting it. So uh, everybody's kind of spending dollars. Yeah. Uh, we got the, the tourism, Andy Linton. I don't know if you know him. Yeah. He comes down to our meetings, and I go up for <coughs> And then the Tim Baldridge is on I-64. Yeah, is it on vote on it? You wanna wait? I think this is a good thing. So what? Mm -hmm. Let's get that up here. I say we have Is it in, it's in, right, it's in the budget. Oh, uh, there we go. I make a motion we approve. Second. Uh, we got a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? I say it. City of uh, Paintsville, the city of Christianburg, and the uh, uh, Combs Airport Board. Okay. It's all covered on this insurance, $2 million. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, there's a copy of it in there. That is, uh, got you all hanging on. Uh, he was the insurance Brian. <laughs> Next one's uh, East Kentucky Gearheads. Right. East Kentucky Gearheads already shifted in the second gear. This is our new poster for our swap meet that's coming up. We've already sold out spaces, I believe. Indoor spaces. Are Indoor spaces have all been sold out. Cool. Oh. Which is at the rec center, right? And it'll be at the rec center. This is our new poster for the cruise in this year. Oh, that's cool. Uh, oh, that's nice. nice. Debbie down at Broadway Printers uh, does our posters, and each year she just overdoes herself. Mm -hmm. Isn't she not the sweetest? I love her. She does a good job. She does. And this is our new calendar, and uh, all of our cruise end dates are, are outlined. We appreciate yeah. everything that tourism and uh, the city of Pantsville and everyone that. And I want to thank you all for helping me with that sound system. And they're so good to, to me and, and let <coughs> me use it to play music downtown. Mm -hmm. Well, they want to buy some speakers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a big year for Paintsville Cruising. We're actually, this is our, we're going into our 10th year of downtown cruising. I don't know if everybody realizes this is 10 years now that this, this has been going on. Um, we're hoping to get some big things going. We've already got a, a couple of promo items kind of commemorating. We're hoping to have some special t-shirts and stuff. Um, we're pretty excited about it. Um, this being the 10th year, um, we have, uh, we've had a lot of interest in live music. I know we've partnered with Main Street before for some live music. Um, and uh, we've recently done some online polling um, of our, our patrons that come to the cruise in and their biggest interest in, in seeing something new at the cruise in is live music. Um, so we're kind of looking to get a little bit of help with that. Um, live music is usually a little out of our price range. Um, we're just wanting to know if any, anyone, you know, if Main Street wants to partner with us again or if we need to go through tourism. Uh, we're looking at maybe one to two thousand dollars a season on getting some music in there for a couple of months, not every month, because one month we do a movie, another month we do a swap meet, we do have some other activities going on. Um, previously, we have had some uh, some music, Mystery Meat Blues Band, which is great. They, they do a lot in Prestonsburg, the, the restaurant venues there. Victimized, which was played at uh, Hibbley Days at the Expo Center. Um, recently, uh, we've been um, approached by uh, Laura Bossett, who is a promoter for the Josh Goodlett Band, which is a country entertainer. Um, he's on the CMT's up and coming watch list. Um, and they're wanting to, to play the April cruise in. And um, we need to, to split that, we need for somebody to split that cost with us. How much is it, honey? $1,000. And we would just need someone to split that with us. Do we, do we have a, don't we, don't we have this is a, one this of these? Is a recorded artist. I mean, he's got songs on iTunes. Mm -hmm. um, they played at the World Chicken Festival this past fall. No, no, yeah, no. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's got some videos on YouTube. I'm not really, I'm not a country person, so I don't know, that's why I'm person, asking. So I <laughs> But um, we do have a great venue for downtown music. We've uh, we've actually expanded. Um, we take up Court Street now also, which is an excellent place. We, uh, we put a band there in that same spot where the stage is during Apple Day. That's a really good place. Is that really good. Can we perform this? I mean, this. I mean, <coughs> this April. This April is in front of the courthouse. So yeah, you know, we can or? set them up right there. Okay. What about a stage and stuff? I mean, what about a, you know, what will you do about that? Look, it's concreted. Yeah. It's elevated about Is that what you're going to be your stage? So. That's how we that did concrete concrete area. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've, we've done a band there before, and it yeah, worked yeah. out okay. great. Sure did, yeah. So you're just asking for $500? <laughs> for <laughs> for the month it. of April? Yeah. yeah, if we can find sponsorships or if we need to, if we do not, another funding request, maybe. Because mm -hmm. we like to try to get some music. And like I said, this guy's a little more on the expensive side because he is a, he's 
got some recording. Um, our local bands are. thousand dollars pretty cheap to get anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 what yeah. You, so let's just we don't even have to buy that. We can Yo, make I that out. Yeah. There you go. You want to vote? You want us to vote on it? What do you think? For five hundred dollars for the month of April, right? Right. Yeah. And we'll advertise it. I mean, yeah. we'll put it on with our radio ads, um, Facebook. I usually reach about a hundred thousand people anytime we have an event on Facebook. So Where, I'm where's he from? Um, out of Louisville. Oh, okay. I think okay. he's originally from Taylor. A hundred thousand. I don't hear do my Facebook. <laughs> in Southeast. From Main <laughs> Street. <clears throat> yeah. Well, what do y'all think? I. Yeah. Well, somebody can make a motion. I'll go ahead and make a motion. Still, All right. There we go. <laughs> New motion Second. for Bob. For this is just for the month of April, five hundred dollars. Right. Right. Okay. Second. Jerry Second. We'll Jerry Second. Well, we got a motion, got a second. <laughs> All in favor of uh, giving him five hundred bucks a year. Just a specific date. It's not gonna conflict with any other dates we got going on. If I seen the arm drop at four sixteen, then we'll I'm gonna conflict with that. That is our cruising day. We uh, we've been doing it every third Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, as as a business person, when that cruise in is going on and that drag race is going on, two different people. It's that no, it's not two different okay. people. People go to both of them and they come by and see me. So well, I'm all for it. There's no conflict down in Big Mellon. I'm all in, but I can't vote. I just break ties. <laughs> I mean, and he's doing two hours too. We can put him, you know, at four to six, or we can do him six to eight. Or, that's right. You know. that, that's something I'm thinking. Just make sure you work with the other group so we don't yeah. steal away from each other I mean, or whatever. They, they've been on the same day more than one occasion. This yeah, and it's oh, it's just yeah. it's it's amazing. And I've always I always thought that's a, well well we got a we got a motion we got a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, yeah. All opposed? Eyes have it. Uh, and, and I always thought the same way that you know we've got two things going on. It's one of the conflict. It's very rarely that they actually do, even at the same time. Because it's like she was saying, there's a lot of people that that, that will go to the arm drop drag no matter what, and that are not going to be down there. Just, just, yeah, and it's the same way with you guys. Same way with anything else. You just the more things going on, the more people going to show up. Mm -hmm. You're you're going to have your hardcore people no matter what. You can do certain things. They're going to be there every time, no matter what. It's the other people that think, you know, hey, that, hey, they got two things going on in Pinesville. Let's, let's just go yeah. around and see everything. Mm -hmm. You know, let's. Well, let's go. Let's mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Sorry. <laughs> well, let's just skip over the Stafford right House. Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no, somebody here the next uh, uh, quote for electrical work: the Stafford House. Got that. Okay. I, I move we table that till next time. Okay, we don't need to, I don't, I don't know the details of that. It, it's to move that electrical box and stuff. I need to know where we stand. I don't even know right now. We have, okay. Lynette and I haven't gone over the Christmas to see where we are. Okay. But, yeah. That's a nice eight table that one too. Yeah. Uh, quote for the LED lights in the tourism and uh, museum. I guess in here. What we need to do is uh, get Morgan in here and probably let us tell us how much we're going to save and all that. Uh, and we've start. got to have the lights out here. Well, then we have lights out here now. Well, now. But, oh, but what put we, the LED in. Yeah, what we did, we, yeah, maybe if we, if we want to go and do the LED and she can tell us how much we'll save. says it saves all kinds of money. Yeah. Well, they'll do, they'll do the actual quote. Right, they'll tell you how much you'll save over the year. So if somebody needs to contact somebody. Yeah, Morgan. Yeah, we. I mean, I, we can do that. We. And then not only oh. that, uh, are you on AEP or six? I mean, uh, six hundred. Yeah, AEP offers rebates. Yeah, the rebates. That's the tax the incentive of it and all that. Yeah, they'll. they'll well, they do that for. Mm -hmm. Is that is no, that? They, I thought it was the individuals and businesses. I didn't know there. Yeah, that's for anybody. That any, yeah. Any sort of. Because aren't we? Uh, Non-profit organization, or whatever. Yeah, I think they'll do it for anybody. Anybody just save electricity. Yeah. yeah. I don't like when you put up solar panels. I can tell you. Mm -hmm. 
I made that well, I think it's going to be a little bit different than last year, but it's still going on this year. They bristled <laughs> when I mentioned solar. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, we've already discussed uh, hiring executive director. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's Jim Bryant. Audit report. Jim Bryant. Right. <laughs> Finally. Finally. <laughs> These are the financials. This is just an informational thing. This is not an official financial statement or anything. The actual financial statements are in the uh, of the uh, city of Paintsville. But these are just for our reference for tonight. Um, I was down here for a couple, three days, back a couple days, I guess it was, back in December, doing the uh, work on the city of Paintsville's audit. And of course, I have to audit the tourism department also. Or, so, so everything. Could you right? clarify that, Jim? Because I had somebody ask me. This audit goes in the city's audit. Yes. We don't have a separate audit. It's not a separate Thank audit you. for the Painful Tourism. So, um, but the, it's all part of the city of Painful. It's a component unit of the city of Painful, so it's in their audit. And the financials are in that audit also, blended in with the cities. Um, to go, I was here for a couple of days. Everything went smoothly. Everything looked good. There was no issues that need to be brought up to anybody's attention. Uh, everything was fine. Uh, Lynette's doing a good job five, six years now, does a good job. Um, quickly go over the financial information for the year. Uh, for June 30, 2015, the total revenues were $902,073. Prior year, they were $866,023, about a $36,000 increase. Most of that, or practically all of it, was uh, increase in restaurant tax prior year. It went from 694000 to about seven hundred. Total expenditures for the year were $697,956, almost $698,000. Prior year was $642,000, so your expenditures were up about $56,000. You had a excess of revenues over expenditures for the year of $204,000, and it was $224,000 the prior year. You can see on the variances there, the increases in certain expense items, donations were up for the year, maintenance and repairs, advertising, promotional was up. And of course, you paid off the uh, loan mm -hmm. uh, last year. That was a big chunk of it right there. That was $62,500. After you transferred $163,000 to the general fund, you had an increase in fund balance for the year of $41,117, bringing the actual fund balance from $284,039 Again, uh, you've increased fund balance. You got some funds there to work with. Um, you know, tourism and uh, condition is in good financial condition. Uh, you know, you paid off the debts. You have no loans now. Mm -hmm. What little bit of debt you do have? Oh no, we got a loan now. You got a loan, mm -hmm. Stafford House. Mm -hmm. That's right. We paid one off. And we got us another one. There you go. <laughs> well, it's good. You paid one off. And yeah. Start paying. Well, some people don't think it's a good, but I think it's a good. <laughs> But um, you can look on that last page there, and you'll see that your uh, total assets, which is your cash, $345,637. Well, the CD you've had before, but your cash in the bank, other than the CD, was 219000 It was up from 163000 the prior year. And of course, what little bit of liabilities you have there, your account's payable and accrued vacation is about $20,000. So, so all in all, everything, everything looks good on the tourism side. Appear to have any issues. <laughs> you can. Make sure I get all of So if there's any questions, I'll be, everything, like I said, everything was good. Uh, no issues arose during the audit. So this is fine. That's, uh, do we have to vote on anything? No. no. That's right. what we we just want to thank you so much. Thank you. Keep us in line. <laughs> All right, uh, next item on the agenda the country music highway travel guide. Thank you.
He moved to Tennessee. Uh, he's in, brother Nashville now, he's in the area of Pigeon Forge. And I ran into him at the bridal show at Expo two years ago, and he said, well, would you help me sell this magazine a little bit? I said, sure. I said, it's kind of a slow time for us in radio right now, so I'll, I'll help you out. And then uh, he comes to me later on, and says, hey, how would you like to take this over? I said, well, I've always admired I mean, my heart's been in tourism. My heart's been particularly in the musical side of tourism. Although I've got a, a study here by the Scopeccio Ad Agency out of Louisville, uh, Tourism Effectiveness, and it actually says that in an area like ours, southeastern Kentucky, people come primarily for outdoor adventure stuff. So that's, that's the trending thing. But anyway, this is just a magazine that tailors up and down the highway from Blacksburg to the South Shore for tourism. Most of the tourism groups have always advertised in it. Um, hotels, restaurants. Uh, they go out, we print uh, 24,000 of these things. Uh, going to come out in the middle of March. And they go to all the Kentucky Welcome Centers, every advertiser, every tourism group has it. You have them here. Uh, we, we provided them last, last spring because it came out. First time I had anything much to do with it. And so, if you'd like to do an ad with us, we'd like to put you in there, and uh, we will we won't charge you the book rate either. We're all paying civilians here, so we'll, we'll treat you good. If you, if you buy an ad, if you want a half page, we'll give you the other half. If you want a full page, we'll give you another full page. And the full page is sixteen hundred. Uh, half is nine hundred. So, if anybody's got any questions, I think the better advice for me was. I didn't see you. You're not in there. We're not in there. No, you guys have been out two years. There was a uh, some kind of a uh, situation, I guess, uh, with uh, when Wendy was here with Ken. We'll try to prevent that from happening again. Whatever that was, I don't even know what it was. All right. Well, we got till when? Stephanie. You all want to just handle this? It's up to you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Whatever you all think. Yeah, I, I like the advertiser. Yeah. Okay. What is my deadline? Oh, you've got uh, you've got until at least uh, the last part of February to make this decision. Okay. No Pick it up. That's good. Yeah, I'm, Where can they pick these up at? I'm as close as your email. Well, all the all the tourism offices have them. All the Kentucky Welcome Centers have them. They're in all the hotels up and down the river. All the big hotels have got them. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, restaurants. Uh, mm. Just, I guess each county has about ten spots where they can be found. There's a lot of them. Let's just run out. What we do? Other than the executive session. What we do is we're, we're going to be careful with these and make sure you never run out. You know, because uh, I've checked a few times. I'm going to have to test out to you know, see if you're. Still got your supplies here, and I do head up and down the river. Make sure everybody gets them because you really need them, particularly during the peak time, April, May, and June. So, All righty. Thank you, Dan. Right. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys, and I appreciate it very much. All right. And I'll be in touch with you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'll, I'd like to click over and uh, I'll yeah. call you with whatever questions that I'm not All right. Very good. Right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, pick your own pumpkin patch. Yes, my name is Arnold Malton. I'm from here in Johnson County. I live on Third House on Rack Club 201. First of all, I'm not asking you for no money. Okay. Very lucky. I've known him for 40 years, I guess. But uh, if I'm putting out five, I'm going to have to do it. Yeah. And uh, since I've retired, I've been raising. Pumpkins, cush on the floor, squash, water shocks, candy follow decorations. And there have been several people asking me to put in a picture on pumpkin patch. They didn't want to go to buy those. Mm -hmm. I finally found some land. I could get school buses off the road and the tents and everything set up. I'd just like to go over what I've got planned, get your own input on it if I need to do something else or not do something, okay? And if you could, somewhere along the line, if you put a plug in for me, I'd appreciate it, okay? Now, I'm going to charge one price. 
covers everything. Wide okay charge for everything, okay? Now for schools and churches, I plan on seven dollars. For the public, nine dollars. The price would include the hay ride out in the fields to get for them to pick their pumpkins. For the kids that buys a pumpkin, they're gonna give them snacks and water, chips, granola bar, water. And uh, I've got, uh, I'll have free miniature pumpkins and gourds. If they want them, they can have them free. I've got face painting. I've got uh, guys bringing horses down for the kids to sit on, have their pictures made. I'll have inflatables. I'll have basketball shooting and other small stuff for the kids to play on. I'll have corn and whole board there on Saturdays, 12 to whatever time I've not planned on yet. Uh, what time I'll have a pumpkin painting contest one Saturday. I'll have the carving contest the next Saturday. And uh, a lady asked about having a, like a slang shot holes in the ground and you shoot apples at targets. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, do that apple day. Going, I, <laughs> do that apple day. Well, what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. you I mean, if they're getting ready to shoot a little kid, well, it's going to fly them through. Right. <laughs> I mean, uh, she said they had it in the fight over. I was debating on that. So, I mean, what would the input on you all from that? Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's great. That's, I, I, it's a I, great idea. I, mean, I, you know, I can't really micromanage your, your business for you. That, you know, well, I mean, I just want your own input. I love, I, I used to go to the uh, the farms up in, uh, when I lived in Georgetown up there, I thought they were really, they had a lot of black, and real, and I think it would be a positive thing okay. to do, you know. Uh, do what you're talking about. Okay, I'll have But as the, in the individual uh, stuff, that that's something you're going to, have to wear the hat on. We can't. <laughs> as in, if you're going to have the slingshot or or whatever things you're going to have there, that's going to be up, that's going to be up to you. Okay. Now, whenever the schools come, I'll have a box set up, which I'm going to give gift cards back to the schools, the church groups. I'll have gift cards to give to them so they can have a little party or whatever. And I'm going to have a suggestion box set up with if they've got a suggestion of what they'd like for me to do or what, you know, something else I'm doing that they don't like to, you know, they put their name and address in there, I will call them, okay? Right. I've got uh, some people wanting to set up tables on arts and crafts. And uh, as of right now, I have Johnson County School, and I've got the city grade schools, I've got 16 uh, youth groups. Sunday schools that's coming. Uh, I'll have brochures printed. Hopefully they'll be printed by tomorrow. I'm going to Lawrence County Schools, Martin County, Floyd, Pike, and McGall. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we can. Well, do we have room for like the flyers here? Are we allowed to do that? Yeah. 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 And make sure you get with the Ramada too. Put them in the Ramada. Okay. Uh, now, when the schools come in, I'm going to have fellows on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh -huh. One school of morning and one of evening. People said they're quite open. They have them all in there, and it's a congestion. They can't do nothing, okay? And now the uh, Sunday schools, churches are going to call me for uh, set up appointments with them. Approximate starting date will be September 12th, give or take. A so pump, you know, they may come in a week earlier, uh -huh. two weeks late. If last year, well, um, is it what you're asking is to ask to help promote. If if so you if, could, yeah. If you can, if you can't, don't worry about it. I wanted some. I mean, input. we could probably do it in conjunction because we do the pumpkin house at the Stafford House. How did you do last year? We thought we might get 50 pumpkins. We had over 200. You had 522 pumpkins last yeah. year. Yeah, but we only the participants were only 250. Okay. So. I, brought, I, I brought the pumpkins to you last year. I know. I know. <laughs> now, so, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to, to cut you off. We've got a long list here, and okay. I understand. We want to help you as much as we can. Are there anything, any suggestions or anything, if you would, you know, that mm -hmm. I could add 
for the kids if you give them the Linnaeus or anything. Okay. And uh, Mark. We well, sure will. And when you get the flyers done and stuff, you know, be sure to bring some here. And then, and like I say, in the Ramada and any place else y'all can think of, you know. Well, you're welcome to bring them to City Hall. Yeah, okay. I didn't think of that. Shit. All yeah. right. Appreciate Jerry's business. Thank you. Thank you. you know, Jerry. I've got the cards coming in two or three days. Okay. So I will get some to you. Okay. Okay. Appreciate I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. On to uh, Country Music uh, Highway Museum. Approval. Of, well, we were approved those, didn't we? No. No. Okay. Sure. okay. Approval of the financial reports and payment of bills for November and December 2015. I make that motion. <laughs> I We've look all at looked them. at it. We've looked at them already. So. Second. Yeah. So we, got, we got a second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 All opposed? <clears throat> the ayes have it. We accept the uh, bills from November and December. Okay. Uh, speakers. Lester Green? Was he, he wasn't even here. Lester was supposed to have been here today. I'm not, yeah. I'm not heard so he wasn't here? But he brought it to my attention about a month ago. You know, we have these speakers that we say were Thursday from Grand Front Porch Chicken. And I guess there's a couple of them that's not working correctly. They're not working. So he has had to bring his own every Thursday. And um, I can't remember the exact prices, but I know he said Thank you. someone that, Thank you. that can repair what we have. And I think it was about 200 per speaker. <coughs> Or if it purchased new, it would be about $800 and something. Okay. Is there something oh, written where they can make these decisions? Like if it's less than $500 oh, or whatever? So uh, that I we think don't have that'd to, be a I mean, That's what a director's for that we have. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're upset about being sworn. Okay, the Josh Osborne. But, but I say, I say let him go ahead and get him. Get them. Get them repaired. repaired if you can. You know, if, of course, we've got to replace them. That'd be and, another uh, issue. What do we ever do about that projector? That's on the, so it's on the agenda. That's what we're going on. I'm trying to get down there. That's after the. All the speakers are on there, too. Right. Hey. Okay. Sorry. Well, I, I didn't bring a hammer with me. I just got gaveled by Richard. Gaveled. Gaveled. <laughs> Josh Osborne exhibit and Larry Cordell exhibit. Is it like is this like a temporary yeah. exhibit or it'd be a full? Can we do that? <laughs> Resident builder. Why did you stay? Yeah. I mean the display is no problem. This is what I was saying. Uh, the uh, I thought y'all. We run out of room. We, that, well, that Larry, that Larry Cordell, he's already on the sign. Right, yeah. now Larry yeah. Cordell is Before. probably good. Now, the, the display we're building has got right. room for Larry Cordell. It does. Yeah. I mean, not well, knowing it at the time, but it, it Yeah, and that, isn't that Josh Osborne, isn't he on the he's sign on the and, and Pipel? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. But, where's Chris Stapleton? Hang on. Different a, counties. A, That's the problem. Well, did, didn't they finally... No, it's going to happen. Okay. It's on the, on the way, right? <laughs> right, you're right, yeah. So, uh, I thought, you know, I could be wrong, but I thought there was certain criteria that got you into the, what was one of the We have had stars. several people, Lynette and I have been on a hunt. I mean, these people go on social media and say there's this, but then we, we, have, found we have found nothing. I know that uh, the legislature decides who's on the sign, but... Originally, the blueprints for the Country Music Museum, that was the atrium of stars. That the now got cut and with the budget cut. So that was who was supposed to go to the museum and who are qualified to be on the atrium of stars. You know how it circles when yeah. you walk in there? And it's got that big white band. They're supposed to be a gold star for each star on the highway all the way around that. Well, and what happened? Well, well, we didn't have nothing to do with that. No, but whenever the... Uh, when they were building the museum, the cost overrun, that was the only thing they cut. Hmm. So what I've read in the blueprints, mm -hmm. trying to build these cases, mm -hmm. it's just, uh, there was a, they said it was going to be a designated criteria to, to make the, uh, for you to be in the atrium of stars. Well, since we don't have the atrium of stars, uh, <laughs> I suggest we just go ahead and do what it. 
I mean, I, we can't. We have asked people. We've done and searched. So, I mean, I guess, you know, you will just have to do it. They just do it. I mean, you have to make it. Well, let's, well, let's get Chris in there, and then we'll get everybody else later. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. One priority, <laughs> priority is Chris Stapleton. I hate to be, a, home, home. Hate to be a homer, but I'm homing. I'm homing, homing too. too. <laughs> Home well, in case that you're building for Chris on the back side, you've got room for one or maybe two more, more people anyway. So. Right. So it was Larry Cordell and Josh Osborne. And what was that hammer team? Um, no, no, oh. Dave Carroll was hammer town. He's the one that sent the email asking to see Gosh. Larry Cordell. Oh, okay. He had it. Yeah, so you should have uh, you should have room on, on the back side of Chris's case. That's why we made it two sided. If you have right. one side, go ahead and do the full thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you've got room for a couple more people. Um, all you have to buy is Well, I, I suggest that we uh, so we got to pause and think. We may we may do that later, but that tonight is not a decision making time for this. But right it's also you guys are putting the bill for other people's exhibits. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, well, so that's what I was saying. I, so that, that's might, something. You might just ask, I, I, I you know, would Michael like to reimburse you for the cost of correct Josh Turner's or whoever, not Josh Turner's. Josh Osborne. Josh Osborne's. Uh, yeah. Correct. Display. And we can just we can discuss this on eight through emails, not yeah. <laughs> we like to have this because <laughs> we got to get to that okay. projector. System. I just want to know if we had room. Yeah. All right. Well. All righty. Let's uh, table that till for future for future director. Yeah. Uh, and on to the projector system. Hey guys, thanks for having me. Um, so the system over there is very dated, it's, it's hard to use, and it's broke. Uh, the speakers, there's two channels out there. And uh, <laughs> um, what's wrong with those two speakers that are built in over there is the amplifiers, those channels are burnt out in there. Last, when I came to do all this quote, um, I figured that out. The speakers are fine, it's the amplifier. If we're talking about the same thing, uh, by the screen, there's a left, right, in the center. The, the left and the center are burnt out. In that was months ago. That was months ago when I came. Um, so, what uh, this quote here is for prosumer grade equipment that is upgradable to 4K eventually when you want to get there. It's not cost effective to do it now if you don't need it. But this gets you a new 1080p projector, uh, a new amplifier that is ready for 4K. Uh, so, the amplifier should last you a good 10 years. Um, it's taken care of. Um, power reserve system, that's probably what broke that over there. Um, those are just little Walmart power strips um, and those are disaster waiting to happen so uh, what this includes is current equipment to replace that to get you a 1080 as well as um, ease of use anybody that can operate a smartphone will be able to operate this uh, the quote includes an iPad mini um, that is visual what you see is what you get so you just hit a button and you want to play a DVD you want if, if you have a wedding <coughs> party in and they want to stream their favorite music from their phone it will allow them to do that. It takes a lot of hassle off of you guys to have someone come in there. Um, also in the quote uh, I've included in the, in the labor is training your employees over there um, and putting some really good laminated, you know, idiot proof directions on the wall. And also my in kind is that I'll be available whenever you guys need to call for tech support on that. So uh, that's it. The total comes in at um, 75.63. Um, we utilize most of the wiring that's in there. We have to do some new video cables to get with the 1080. Um, but that's all included in the price. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. All these prices are valid until August 31st? Uh, you've got the old one. Uh, yeah. January, I send it to January 31st. Um, <laughs> we wore this time out. <laughs> I mean, gag on an app, swallow on the <laughs> And in fact, there's there's a newer model of the projector. It is in the same price range. So I figured when you want to do this, you want to do it right to get the latest model that's in here. Uh -huh. um, and that's they're best. very close. The Apple TV has actually gone up in price, but I'm going to honor the $85 price that's on there for that. Um, oh, you're talking about the handheld napkin? Uh, well, the uh, the iPad 3 is listed, but it will be an iPad 4 mini. We're going to go with the latest so you get the full warranty from the get-go. The Apple TV. The Apple TV is allows the streaming. Yeah, you. They got a video on our phone. They can stream. And they want to play that system. video. 
Okay. Um, that's now 169, uh, but like I said, um, the distributor's gonna work with me on that, so it'll be fine. Okay. And then the second page you see on there is the SIP, which is not on the agenda today, but we can talk about that when it's- Now you can't. Yeah, it's not gonna be the Yeah, I know. Now, 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 say, <laughs> now, uh, now, we can't talk about the SIP if it's not on the agenda. We ain't allowed to talk about it. I am a blonde. Well, the other thing too, and if anybody of you have ever dealt with that system over there, uh, one of the things on here is, is a little TV, which you guys should have in there. So when you're in that control room, what they're seeing outside, you're seeing there, you don't have to do this number. Mm -hmm. So it's a very yeah. efficient, ergonomical system for work, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think, like I said, anybody that can pick up an iPhone or Android will be able to do this with no problem. Okay. What do y'all say? Well, you know how. how. How quick would it be, to, I mean, to get it switched out? Um, once I get a check for the equipment, uh, 10 to 12 days. Okay. We'll start immediately. The next, the, the next question I have, and I, I hope you can answer. <laughs> When's the next time that we need this system where we got something booked in there to, or we need it? I'm not sure, but I can say that the museum is getting called daily. People want for, to hear for okay. weddings and receptions. Mm -hmm. There we go. We gotta have it before the that's season. They, year, that's what I'm saying. Well, I, I mean, why can't we just people. go ahead and do it? We've watered it for a year, or however how long I've been on well, let's, here. Well, then make a motion. I'll make that motion. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I used to sit over and motion but the crap out of it. I'm used to you doing it. <laughs> now I'll, you have I'll to second. do that. I don't yeah, know. Like I've got to sit here and be neutral. I've got to vote and break the law. We got a, we got a motion for uh, for option one, correct? Whatever we all said. Okay, that's seventy five sixty three. Correct. Yeah. And we got a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Go to the check. Next week. <laughs> Wait, Dwayne, you don't have to come back out here all the time and work for free. <clears throat> no, I'll tell you, y'all were discussing something else that we're going to have to discuss, like the Dawkins Trail tied to the, we were talking, we need to like email around, and you know, I hate to try to put all this together and have special meetings all the time. Let's communicate better. You know, Lynette's great with sending emails, but I, I'm not being able to get in touch with anybody can else. We, can we so just can do a, a group, chat group on Facebook? That's do, you, do you have Facebook? Yeah. But to discuss the things like with the the uh, I, I internet, don't know. with with the with the website, and if there's issues and have that everything come up. together, because I think I've had this crazy idea in my mind about the the picture stuff you do. I wonder if we could do the Dawkins Trail. Well, we could, yeah. That somebody could write, that could get on there. Look, this is Actually, how I write, and they've got this on here. And Tom Monk's wife asked for it. We have, we have tons of photos right. that are And put that on Google. I mean, use. shoot, Google Maps. That'd be awesome. Yeah, what they're what he's talking about is, I mean, they, they do golf courses now. They do golf courses now. So instead of doing a shot every five feet, you do it like every 50 yards. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Dawkins Trail, you could do it every 500 yards. So when you click the button, it zoom you 500 yards. It's just yards like you're taking, it's like you're you driving. Around, I, right. I do that all the time on Google Maps. Right. It's the funnest. It's and you know everything stuff. about, because yeah. I was going to like football games this year. I knew exactly where to park. How to get how to maneuver my vehicle in there? Would you Google it? Yeah, just go go to Google Maps and you yeah, go to you what, what yeah. It's just almost like going, you know, like going into my store there. You know, like, uh, like Google Maps and, and you go down to Street yeah. View and you go around all the streets of wherever you're at. So and you can turn around 360 and see what the house what my house across the streets going yes, out yes, down yes. here. Yeah. Uh, that one <laughs> well, they've got a dog. Today, John, I spoke with Donna right. at the best tour. Can we make a motion to adjourn? I gotta see what's on the. All right, we got an executive session. What we I'm do not doing an executive session. <laughs> you can executive all you want to. Okay, we return now to open session. Uh, any comments from the commissioners? Just had them. Any, that, make a motion. No, we do have one more thing. Right. Are we gonna talk about that for the the tour bus thing? I have Stephanie. I gotta work. Okay, you and Stephanie gonna do that? Okay. 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 We'll table that for next. Is that me? No, Where it's it? me, and I'm. Make a motion. Make the motion, we adjourn. Second. Uh, we've got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? We're adjourned. <laughs>